A truly American-made electric vehicle just doesn't exist yet. About three quarters of the minerals needed to make one are still imported from other nations. That's because China controls the vast majority of the supply. But a bunch of tiny rocks at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean could change that narrative. And this is what a nozzle looks like right here. You get a sense of the size of it, kind of like a very small potato. Craig Chesky is the chief financial officer at the metals company. TMC is hoping to mine the seabed for polymetallic nodules, which are rich in the minerals needed to make EVs, dubbed a battery in a rock due to their valuable contents. What we have alone from our resource in the clearing clipping zone of the Pacific Ocean is sufficient to bring the United States to independence in nickel, cobalt, and manganese. So to take the U.S. effectively from no primary production of those three to independence in all three. These resources the metals companies after would be able to power about 280 million EVs, or equal to roughly all passenger vehicles currently on the road in the U.S. Despite the projected reduction in CO2 emissions this would bring, environmental groups are pushing back. Greenpeace used to say that before this industry were to go forward, they want more science. TMC and others have been working to provide that science and actually show what the real effects are, not based on speculation. Greenpeace has been one of the most vocal critics, from boarding one of the metals company's deep sea mining vessels to confronting industry representatives with a giant octopus. They contend extracting these nodules is an environmentally harmful process. However, TMC maintains their plan is much better for the planet than the mining tactics currently used to obtain these minerals. Just think about where we go to get our nickel or our cobalt today. You're talking about biodiverse carbon storing rainforests in the backyards of local communities who sometimes have to deal with the impacts for you know, decades or hundreds of years following the closure of those mines. As debate over the environmental impacts of deep sea mining continues to play out, U.S. lawmakers are moving ahead with legislation to kickstart the industry, introducing the Responsible Use of Seafloor Resources Act. It calls for federal funds to be allocated towards utilizing these underwater resources. If passed, the legislation would also initiate a number of studies into the mining of nodules, including how they will impact human health, the environment, and new technology development. It's hard to pin a timeline on uh, government actions, uh, but we feel that in the coming months there are going to be a lot of potential catalysts, uh, potentially with dollars attached to it, from Washington, D.C., related to polymetallic nodules.